You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. Very excited about this one. Finally, Darth Maul and his Sith Speed of the Blood Fin in hand. Yeah, I've been in very, very excited to pick this one up. Finally, just getting uh, getting released here in Australia. I know it's not too far behind. Um, there was apparently just a couple of delays from its original uh, release date, but uh, yeah, they're they're out and about. Especially if you pre-ordered them, you should be able to snag them. Uh, I don't think these are going to last long. These are pretty damn good, especially with that throwback packaging to 1999. So good. Um, this is the 25th anniversary of Episode 1. Little logo up in the corner. The other sort of nice harken back to the, the OG, the uh, Phantom Menace packaging of 1999. Really nice. Yeah, very, very classic, very awesome. Yeah, looking forward to uh, playing around with this new Darth Maul. Brand new sculpt all throughout. Looks good from what I've seen. Be nice to have it in hand. Um, yeah, much overdue from uh, from the original. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's bust open and take a look at this bad boy. All right, folks, here it is out of the packaging. And uh, it does, I don't think it's ever going to matter how old I get. I'm still going to love opening up a Darth Maul action figure. It's just so good. It's just so satisfying. He's just such an iconic character. Um, yeah, just fantastic. So I thought we'd start off, take a look at the accessories, and then the speeder bike, and then we'll take a good look at Darth Maul himself. So yeah, coming as an accessory here, which is, this is really cool. This is one of his uh, Seeker probes. It's nicely sculpted. Unfortunately, no sort of extra paint detail on it, which would have been would have been nice. Just even, you know, a couple of light little silver touches, but that's okay. You know, it's better than nothing. So it comes on a little ball and socket there. So that's nice. And that, yeah, little antenna there. It's a nice flexible plastic, so maybe that's why that couldn't be painted. It's just too iffy. I don't know. Maybe I'll hit it with a Sharpie. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll refer to some books and, yeah, give it a little splash of colour myself. But overall, pretty good. And, yeah, the, the stand is nice. Nice sort of clear. That's not going to go anywhere once that's on your shelf. I mean, unless you're prone to earthquakes in your area, which I am not, thankfully. <laughs> And we get the uh, Magno Electro Mag Electro Binoculars. I struggled to get that word out then. Not sure whether this is the same as the original sculpt. I don't see why they would have changed it, to be honest. But I don't have the original on hand to uh, to compare. But you know, if it's the same, big deal. If it's new, cool. Yeah, even I got a couple of little little dots of detail there on the buttons. So that's nice. And then of course his lightsaber, which I dare say is still the original mold. Again, why change it? Yeah, those lightsaber blades are staying in there for now, but they will be able to be removed. And yeah, this one has the peg on it, so you'll be able to attach that to his belt, I imagine. Yeah, just joining them together. Fits nicely. Nicely painted. Yeah, a couple of those little red, red buttons and black buttons as well. So that's cool. Still feel like it could have been done in a little bit more of a a stronger plastic. I've had a few of these that have sort of bent and warped over the years, but that's all right. It's fine. 
So yeah, there's the accessories. We'll get a look at the uh, the blood fin now. The Sith speeder. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Still have my uh, three and three quarter inch version, which is nice. But yeah, to have this in the it's not a bigger scale. It's uh, it's turned out pretty good. I like this thing a lot. I like the weathering and the paint app applications. They're quite nice. Even this cushioning. It's a slightly softer plastic. It's almost a, a really firm sort of rubber. For maximum comfort, I'm sure. But yeah, you can almost squeeze that in. That's interesting. I don't think we've had anything like that before. But yeah, all the sort of weathering detail throughout looks good. I just like the shape of it, you know. Using that staring you down. You definitely want to drop. So yeah, there's the articulated sort of hinge for the uh, handlebars there. And then you've got the sort of the ball and socket for the stand underneath which is nice let's see if that'll pop out yeah reasonably easily and there goes all my talk about the probe not falling over but yeah it's pretty nice sits in there well a few little bits of detail on the back there you can sort of see the display there on the front. That's nice too. Yeah, nice little attention, attention to details there. That's cool. I was watching our sci fis review and he mentioned the old one being able to have the lightsaber blade sort of go through there. So as he's flying along, you could almost just clothesline a few people, knock some heads off as you're doing a little bit of a drive-by. Yeah, that looks nice. All right. Let's talk about Darth Maul here. Now, yeah, we've got the single release, which is due out this month, if not early next. Um, this is exactly the same figure. But this one comes with the uh, soft goods robe, obviously, and allowing that accessibility to the bike. The lower part here is soft goods too. So, you know, each to their own as to what you prefer. You know, obviously this one's going to work better for the speeder, being able to have the soft goods. Now, I'm not sure if the single release comes with his wrist communicator. But that's, uh, I, know, I guess you could class that as another accessory. You have that on his wrist. I personally probably would give that a miss. It's not something I'll probably keep on there. I don't know, it's just a little bit clunky. But it's fine. We can uh, also sort of sit that up, up there on the uh, handlebars for the moment. No, I won't. I'll just put it over there. <laughs> but yeah, the soft goods on this looks fantastic. You know, nicely put together. Nice choice of fabric. You know, especially with the sort of the ripples in the front. Very much akin to how it appeared in the film. And he's got this sort of longer sleeves coming down the sides. Again, looks pretty good. In the back, you've got that same sort of almost ribbed corduroy almost look. It's not corduroy because it's not the 80s, but never know. And uh, yeah, the hood, it sort of sits up quite well. It's a, softer, it's a softer fabric than some of the others we've had recently, so it may not sit as well. It doesn't have that sort of weight behind it. Or it doesn't look like it's got that weight behind it, but I don't know. I think that sits reasonably well. I like the way that it sort of parts down the front here. It sort of sits over the head. Yeah, you get that in the right spot, you can get that looking really good. I'll definitely be able, having a good play around with that later on. So let's uh, derobe more. You ask a kid to take their jumper off and you've got to lift their arms above their head. So again, you know, this mall, 
the original Darth Maul was the first ever Darth Maul was the first ever Black Series figure I ever got. Um, and that was, you know, months of saying, I'm not collecting Black Series. You know, you can't change the scale. And yeah, here I am some years later with numerous hundred of hundreds of black series <laughs> i haven't even i haven't even counted them recently i'm probably a bit scared to do that do so but yeah he's definitely long overdue for a uh for an upgrade and i think this looks good i think just the uh the fabric around here probably sitting a little bit funny um just the way it's probably been packaged some of those crinkles and stuff may fall out eventually but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing a comparison with the uh, with the standard version. I think I think the other one will look. I don't know. I'm a big fan of uniformity through through the figures with soft goods. I like robes and and capes and stuff being soft. But when it comes to like parts of a figure, I prefer that to be all sort of molded. But by the looks of things, they've done a pretty good job. You know, I dare say the head sculpt here for Mole probably isn't. Super new because they have done a couple of recent Darth Mauls that have had a new head sculpt, um, the Clone Wars one and the Gaming Greats. They, I'm pretty sure this is the same. I have been wrong before, but I'm not really seeing too much difference between the two. But paint application wise, nice and clean, looks good. Yeah, he's pretty much all black with the robes. This sort of over a little bit here is like a almost like a darker grey. It's almost a charcoal. Almost sort of breaks up a little bit from the black. You can almost see a tinge and colour change there with the robes. And I think that works alright. I think that works well. It just sort of breaks up all the just pure black, you know. I mean, that's kind of what he's all about. See, in terms of paint applications, not really a lot else to uh, to talk about with this one. We'll go through and check out his articulation. He does have the ball joint in the head. Probably one in the top of the neck too, given that double barbell joint. There is a ball and socket there in the neck too, so allowing a little bit of neck movement. Ball hinges in the shoulders and a rocker joint, so you're going to get plenty of movement and posability out of this guy, which is what you want for Darth Maul. So that's almost popping that joint out, so be careful there. There's ball hinges in the elbows there. Ball hinges in the wrists. No, ball and socket in the wrists. So going for that sort of new joint, which is nice. I, I do like those joints. So ball and socket. I just wish that would allow Hasbro to do more hands. You know, give us some alternate hands. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, upper torso joint there. Fair bit of room there. Fair bit of room. You can get a lot of, lot of good movement out of that. Uh, ball and socket in the thighs. He does have the swivel cut there in the thighs as well. Does have a nice ball hinge in the knees. The ball hinge in the ankles and a swivel in the foot. Get that rock happening. Let's see how you look at his boots. I don't know that the original had that sort of detail marking on his boots. Maybe I'll do a separate video and do a, a little bit of a comparison between the two. And sort of take a look at how far the Black Series has gone. But I may just wait until I get the standard mole release when he hits. And then I'll do the comparison. Given that this is more so suited to the uh, speeder bike. But yeah, pretty thrilled to have this guy. He looks fantastic. Really, really pumped. We're going to do a little action figure stand test. I'm just going to grab one. So I do have the uh, good old Kessel Run action figure stand right here. And yeah, this, you know what? He's actually got bigger peg holes in the feet for this, for this guy. But you know, that's still holding. So it's just, 
just enough. This might be a good go to use for the arch. We get the arch up, but we'll see what the uh, what the other one brings. The other regular Darth Maul. See how that one comes along, but you know this one's still holding on the stand, so we'll stand up on it, which is great. But yeah, like I said, might be a good opportunity if you were going to pose this guy up to use the arch and plug that in, and uh, yeah, get him standing up. So I'm not going to put the robe back on, but we're going to try and get him on the bike and sort of see how he fits. Plenty of articulation, so he's going to sit comfortably. And those pegs on the feet, sitting on the uh, pedals there. Looks good. Let's lean him back a little bit. Definitely a little bit easier to do without a without a camera and a tripod sitting in between, but yeah, he, he sits on there well. That looks good. I'm uh, super happy with that. He's really cool. Still getting excited about Darth Maul stuff 25 years later. You can sort of pivot the speeder as well, get it on some angles. play a little bit more with his articulation and get him really up on that speed and looking good. So there we have it folks. I hope you've enjoyed checking this one out. I've really enjoyed taking a good look at this figure. I'll be spending a fair bit of time with this. There's a range of accessories here which is cool. Nice little bit of bang for buck there, which is very nice. But yeah, very much looking forward to the uh, the standard release of Darth Maul coming out very soon. If you're anywhere in the world, really, you can pre-order at KessleRunHair.com. We do have the, the Maul coming in very, very soon. But yeah, I appreciate you watching, tuning in, doing all the good stuff. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I would appreciate that very much. And I will catch up with you very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.